guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chow Time. So today, pahinga muna tayo sa pagluto because finally, after a year of waiting, nakapag-travel ulit tayo. And this time, we went to Boracay for five days. But we go through, before we go through the vlog, um, I'm gonna show you all the requirements and information needed bago kayo makapag-travel going to Boracay this 2021. So here are the requirements. So, gaya nga na sinabi ko kanina, there are things that you need to know before traveling to Boracay in 2021. So, kung dati, we just need to, you know, uh, book a flight, a round trip ticket, and book a hotel. But now, since we are facing, still facing the COVID-19 pandemic, then there are additional tests, or steps rather, that must be followed by the time of travel. So, una at pangalawa, book your ticket, then book na hotel, and it must be confirmed. And then yung mga sumunod at yun yung mga additional um, process na dapat natin gawin para makapag-travel tayo or makapunta tayo dun sa pupuntahan natin. Um, we have to get uh, tested negative of COVID-19, so we have to schedule RT-PCR test. We have to go to the RT-PCR testing site, and then once we get tested negative, um, we have to accomplish the accomplish the Applied Health Declaration form. And then lastly, um, download the Trace app. So there are ways that where you can book your flight, either via Cebu Pacific, Philippine Airlines, Air Asia, or Air Swift going to the plan. It is important to have a confirmed booking before you proceed to the next steps. In terms of booking your hotel, always check the OT website or Department of Tourism website and make sure to only book accredited hotel because only accredited hotels will be accommodated by the planned local government training. Pero kung gusto mo makatipid, um, you can check out the website or preferred hotel for any ongoing promotions. Mind you guys, ito yung panahon na sobrang bagsang pressure yung mga hotels, even the high-end ones. Sobrang affordable siya sa ngayon. So, yep, that's that. Now, there are many options to have your IPTCR test done. Either you go to an accredited, accredited um, clinics, clinics or hospitals and skip this process that I'm about to tell you or avail the subsidized RT-PCR test. So, in our case, we took the latter kasi mas mo siya. And we only get to pay 750 pesos each compared to home, home service or uh, home service or private hospitals or private clinic, you'll have to pay between 3,000 and 5,000 pesos. So, there's a big difference. So, kung hindi ka naman nagmamadali, and if you're comfortable with the process, then take the subsidized RT-PCR. So, yeah. Now, if you plan to avail this, then just have to follow the instructions. Go to their website, www.tpp.gov.ph slash travel and then select your preferred hospital. So, there are two testing sites. If you're in Manila area, you can... Uh, choose UPPGH or in my case we are in Quezon City so we had it done in PCMC or Philippine Children's Medical Center yes. and then submit the following requirements a copy of two valid government issued IDs so a DB, SSS, Unified PhilHealth, Passport and Philippine Passport Driver's License so those are the samples so they only need two and then, again, your confirmed hotel booking and then your round-trip transportation tickets to be uploaded in the website. If you have further questions or clarifications, you may send them an email. Now, once you have submitted the requirements, um, about a minute or two, not really a minute or two, about maybe 15 minutes, Receive a successful registration from PH Travel informing you that you have successfully registered for the PH Travel RT PCR test subsidy for qualified tourists. So we submitted our form um, on February 9th, and then on the same day, we received the uh, successful registration email from them. Although our travel date is on March 17th, it is much better for you to submit the requirements ahead of time. Week after that, 
on the 18th of February, we received an approved registration. So we need to say there were no issues, all the documents are uh, were submitted correctly. So we have received the approved um, registration informing us that our requirements will be for our documents rather will be forwarded to PCMC on the 14th of March for the scheduling of the actual RTD start. And then on the 14th of March, we receive an email from PCMC um, with the subject line of RTDs are scheduled. And we were scheduled to get tested on the 15th of March, Monday, between 8 and 9 in the morning. So mind you guys, they are very strict with the, uh, with the schedule. So you have to be there 15 minutes before the schedule time. So... Bago kayo pumunta, they are requiring you. To, they will require you to fill out the CIF or the client investigation form. So, medyo na ako overwhelmed siya kasi there were like four or five pages of of the form. So what I did is tumawag ako sa PCMC hotline and then ask them kung ano lang dapat na information ang ibigay na. So we just have to fill out the section one or part, part 1, Patient Information, Section 2, Patient Profile, Section 3, your current address, and then the Section 12, uh, which is the clinical information. So you have to fill it out using your laptop or your mobile device because handwritten information will not be accommodated for, fa uh, will not be accommodated for faster um, transactions. So what does it mean? Kapag nag-print kayo, hindi kayo pwede magsulat. So, it, ha it has to be filled out using your computer and then you have to print it out. Now, you have to send a soft copy back to PCMC um, email and then print out your uh, filled out uh, CIF and then make sure that you have to have a your confirmed and scheduled saved on your phone because it is check on guard and your CIF and again you have to be there 15 minutes before your scheduled time now we were there um, 7.20 in the morning and then we were there so we were there so we were there 15 kami. Pero they started early so they started collecting the CIF around 7.45 in the morning and then um, we were uh, asked to line for the payment and then by batch yung testing so it only took us about uh, 20, 45 minutes um, dun sa testing process so sobrang bilis and sobrang efficient so maayos sila dun so yeah so after that if you get tested in the morning you will get the result the following day between 4 and 6 p.m. So we received the result on uh, March 16. So again, March 17 ang alisamen, March 16 ang siya na received mga 5 in the afternoon. So uh, fortunately, we are both uh, negative. So yeah, so this is the result. And ito yung itsura niya. And then SARS-CoV-2 viral RNA not detected. So, yay! So, we are good to pack our things. But before that, meron na namang additional steps bago ka maka-alis. Which is the, you have to accomplish the Plan Health Declaration form. You have to go to www.touristboracay.com and then select Boracay. Filled out, uh, fill out all the required fields and just have to submit it once you submit you have to have a, a screenshot of the successful or confirmation page rather because you will be needing that uh, once you send them an email along with the negative rtpcr result confirm the form uh, proof of identification with philippine um, residency and a copy of a round trip um, flight or travel details and send it to uh, touristburakai uh, at gmail.com so the email sub subject you just have to copy from the confirmation page which is ohdc dash your last name comma your first name so send it to them 
and then about in less than 12 hours in our case it only took 30 minutes then we have already received our health declaration card with the QR code so you have to save it on your phone because it will be scanned um, upon arrival at the Catiplan airport so we have to have it all the time so yeah so this is how it looks like and then lastly um, download the trace application so the trace application is available both in google play and ios and the application will be used for contact tracing if one or more passengers uh, tested positive or show symptoms of covid19 later on now if you don't want to go through this process you can have like a travel agency um you know process these requirements for you so that's that so let's go back to the vlog so at the time nung umalis kami, that was March 17th, hindi masyadong puno yung airplane and as you can see, there were vacant seats and everyone are actually required to wear their face shield and face mask all the time. So uh, 5 to 7 minutes from the departure, we were given a snack, uh, it's a green peas and dried mango and then a bottle of water. And uh, the flight attendants were wearing PPEs, of course, another protocol. And then, yeah, touchdown Boracay. Um, it was a smooth flight, although may konting turbulence. Pero okay lang yun, kasi we were really excited to, you know, go to Boracay again and see the sunset there. So okay lang sa akin. And then from the Katiklan Airport. Uh, we were asked to line up and follow the guard's instruction. So, medyo madami as you can see. So, pipi, uh, ginawa namin pumila lang kami. And then, uh, papasok, um, we, uh, our temperature were checked. Isa-isa kaming chinek. And as you can see, mga uh, ground attendant were also wearing face mask. So, there's that system wherein your temperature will be checked and then you will be given a piece of paper with your temperature reading on it and then your valid ID and of course your tourist um, health declaration card or the QR code so they will check it and they will scan it and you have to present a as mentioned valid ID and your confirmed hotel booking after that, go to the luggage claim area to get your things. And sobrang smooth ng proseso. No hassle. Maayos silang lahat. So at this time, um, for our airport transfer to hotel, I booked, uh, I always book using Kluk or Kluk. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I just call it Kluk. And then we were ushered to the van going to the jetty port. And then from the jetty port, you will be escorted going to the, I guess, the receiving area. But you have to have your things surrendered as well for checking. And yan, ito lang yung medyo hassle kasi, um, huba rin, I mean, tatanggalin mo naman yung gamit mo. And then while you holding the camera, and this time, ni pa rin talaga ako sanay mag-film and walk at the same time. And medyo nahihiya pa rin ako. So, there you have to surrender your things to get it um, scanned or and checked and then from here you will be escorted to the receiving area and have your QR code yet again checked and then your valid ID and your hotel booking so it will only take about two minutes kasi sobrang uh, bilis nung scanner nila na medyo na impress ako doon Kasi akala ko mabagal. Uh, but once you get to have your QR code scanned, poof, tapos kagad. So just, they're just gonna try. I mean, they're just gonna uh, check your name on the list. And then from there, you will be ushered or um, escorted to the banka. And yeah, from there, um, it's going to be just 5 to 10 minute boat ride, depending sa alon. So, hindi rin siya punuan. 
So, hindi rin talaga siya ganun ka-hassle. Unlike before na sobrang punuan. And your designated uh, seat will be based on the number na ibibigay nila sa'yo. So, hindi ka pwede basta-basta kung saan lang umupo. So, bibigyan ka ng number. And then, dun sa number na yun, dun ka dapat umupo. So, yan. So, may mga pagitan. So, yes, if you're gonna ask me, did I feel safe? Yes, um, I felt safe during the travel. And no hassle. And hindi siya siksikan and maayos siya. So, yeah, it was a smooth, you know, trans, uh, transport from Boracay, I mean, from the Katiklan Airport going to the hotel. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my vlog from here. And I just want to share with you guys how the experience was during the process at the time we uh, booked the flight and booked the hotel and then yung proseso ng um, pag-avail ng subsidized RT-PCR. So, yun lang. Um, again, these are just based from our experience and I know that a week after we arrived uh, in Manila, that was on the 21st, um, the government yet again declared uh, an ECQ or a lockdown. So, Fortunately for us, naka travel pa kami, but for some, um, they have to cancel it or book their flights. And maybe yung iba hindi na mahapag refund or whatnot. But there might be a new process after they lift the uh, the ECQ. So from what I read, saliva testing is now uh, accepted in Boracay, but just have to. But to make sure, I uh, just have to check the website all the time. So, yeah, that's that. I'm gonna end the vlog here. And then we, I will uh, post another one on our, you know, daily happenings when we were in Boracay in the next vlog. So, thank you guys for watching. So, I'm just gonna end it here for now. So, I just really want to... To share to you guys the experience and then on my next blog you will see all of our activities and the food that we ate during our stay in Boracay so guys stay safe and I'll see you soon in on my next vlog